Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. This is gonna be me, my last week of school vlog. Today, I have to go get a blood draw, check my thyroid levels to see if I need to up my dose of medication or not. I hate blood draws. They're the pain of my existence, even though I barely get them. I get them like once a year. So, let's go. Waiting for a blood draw. Hey guys, so I have to go to the church to get my car. We just got Dutch. And now we're heading back to the church to pick up my car. I have a lollipop, and now I have to go to school. I'd love to skip school today because I feel very tired after this. But I don't feel like I can because it's literally my last week, and they might be giving us answers to finals, and I don't want to risk it. So I'm just going to go to school. I'll see you guys there. Hello. I'm at school. My digital media, I just finished lunch, and now I have to take off my bandage for the thing earlier today. Um, so let's, I'll show you that, hold on. This is right. It hurts. Let's get rid of it. Well, it's off. I'm bruised, and my arm still hurts. Let's get back to class. I went to the wrong classroom. So now I have to walk all the way to the other side of the school to get to the right one. Walker told me. I'll see you guys here. I got an A in my college class. Let's go, baby. Which I think may or may not transfer over to high school. Either way. Another 4.0. I am so happy. That class has been a pain in my behind. And I'm so glad it's over and I could not be more happy about my grade, so. Uh, I am so happy. Let me pull everything up. Do you have any advice for incoming freshmen? No. Run. Flee. That was not a nice word. That's that. Don't go to high school. No high school, be free. What do you have advice for incoming freshmen? Can I answer your question? Um, do your work. Get it done. Is it advice? Yeah, for the incoming. My advice for the upcoming freshmen. So realistically, if we're talking about grades, don't procrastinate. But if we're talking about getting the ladies, don't get one that doesn't stick to her word when she breaks your heart, okay? <laughs> And this, and this, don't date a girl that will break your heart, all right? Okay. Make sure this blows up, because I feel like there's some men like me that will need it. It's coming up, she's not worth it. She's down here, I'm up here. You feel? I'm better at basketball. Amen. Huh? Yeah, I traded one gym for a hundred stones, and I feel great. Uh, there's a lot of cringy things I said uh, that I wish I could take back. Don't. Don't say anything dumb or try to act cool. Just be quiet and stay in your lane. Toodles. It was January 8th. Let's not discuss the time period. But I was having a great week. Thought this week was going to go good. The next day, you know, was the CFB National Championship. I asked this girl to come over. That's when she hits me with, I think we need to take a break. I want to focus on my sports. You know, terrible excuse, right? I did everything. I don't know what I did wrong. And now, not even a month later, me and this same guy are in the same boat. Now we're best friends. Yo, yo. Yo, yo, what it do? Two life crew, huh? You know, heartbroken. Is it really a heartbreak? The heart never breaks even. My heart broke not even. It never breaks even. I'll tell you that right now. You know, now I just, you know, you know, been living life. She's a, <laughs> yeah, at her. You know, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of thankful. I thank the Lord for what happened. Obviously, I miss her, but if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't be hanging out with this guy right here. And then, like, you know, I want to have my options. I Crazy. Do right now. <laughs> Crazy. The first time I started hanging out with him is the day that she broke up with me. So, 
I think I need to stop hanging out with him. <laughs> True story. Uh, I feel bad about that one, but we had a great day, some good laughs. Now there's a bunch of inside jokes no one understands, but that's okay because we live together. He's like my brother now. He hugs my sister. He's always at my house, I swear, like she used to be. I'm sorry. Honestly, two young men that are coming up, don't stress about it, you know. But don't, don't, if she unadds you, be mad about that because that's petty. That's real petty. Don't you agree, Keely? Keely Ward, one of her good friends. She agrees with me. Amen. Yep, yep, she shakes her head. Amen. Good night, guys. When it comes to guys, girls, from experience, don't make them feel like they're loved and then the next day rip their heart out. See, pull it to my Blake, my guy Blake over there. Look at him. Look at the. See, you guys heartbroken now. He's goofy. Look how goofy he looks. <laughs> no, but on a real note, don't make them. Don't make them feel like your most important thing in life, and then rip their heart out. Literally, because then you can just skip half the class and finish in one day. You know, there's times to have fun, and times to be serious. <laughs> Do not collect in the school bathrooms because people actually have to pee. Thank you. Motivational? I'm not ready. I have if you have Swaggy H or AKA Miss Hutchinson as your freshman oh English teacher, you should just drop out. Because she is not the best. She is strict, won't let you be on your phones whenever you want, but she does sleep in class. She's 90 years old, so <laughs> she has that sleep schedule. Don't do it. Oh. You know, have fun, but school isn't that hard. Do your work at the same time. Hello. I hope any of this actually goes through. So basically, those are my classmates, and that is some advice for you incoming freshmen. Basically, all of it was the same. Do your homework. Have fun, and in the long run, none of this will matter, so don't stress. I'm going to go back to class. Let's go. Hello. We are in math, looking over my history stuff, because I am in history right after math. This is Wednesday, the 17th, May 17th, I believe. Tomorrow's our last day, so that should be fun. I'll see you guys later. It's about fall. Walking through the walking through paths of leaves, the sun setting, with the smell of pumpkin spice in the air, wearing layers for the cold fall weather. Praying the rain stays away, at least today. Football season starts, the crowd starts to cheer. Running through corn mazes and getting lost. Get, going to the pumpkin patch as you're there, here, as you're there. Snuggling under a blanket with some cocoa. Playing Fortnite on the cold nights with friends. Waking up in the cold, fresh air, it's fall. We're done. I run my pillow. We're done. Alright, you finished. Yeah. I finished everything. We're good to go. I'm heading to my final class, and then I leave to come here for math tomorrow, and then I'm done. Okay, we're going to the other building. That's cool. What are you doing? What am I doing? Math. Right now. I thought you were done with math. Huh? I thought you were done with math. No, nope, not done with math. What are you supposed to be doing? No comment. Okay. Are you ready for summer? Uh, yes, for what, sure. What are you doing? Um, I'm going to camps and I'm going to Florida. Fun. Matthew. Huh? Are you ready for summer? I'm ready for summer. Summer's actually summer. Summer's ready for me. So. Like, what are you gonna be doing? Oh, are you talking about the girl name summer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna be uh, you know living it up. I'm not gonna make any plans because the best plans are when there are no plans. No planning. Planning is for the boring. Oh, you saying me? No, I came from a I don't know if I'm ready for summer. <laughs> I don't know what to get. I'm gonna see her in the hallways.
Okay. We're free I am leaving not for the last time. I have to come for third hour night tomorrow. But the look the last kinds of last time. I'm gonna go play tennis with someone because hopefully it doesn't rain. It's not supposed to. It's supposed to just be cloudy. I'm sure I look so stupid walking around just talking to my phone. Alright, I will see you guys later. Hello. Ignore the mess. It's like a public park kind of thing where the tennis court is. So there was a little kid's soft baseball game going on in the field next to us. So some up two boys from school came to watch that game, I guess and saw us there and came to talk to say hi and I guess they went home and got rackets and they came back and played a little bit with us and we played for another few minutes and then I went to a new youth group oh, other news hey guys that was my last week of school thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it make sure to come back for lots of more summer fun vlogs and i'll see you guys next time bye